our government is launching today the procurement process to build a new train service in the Toronto to Quebec City corridor. I'm pleased to say that up to 90% of the new service would run on electricity, contributing to a green economy and creating good jobs. This will help encourage travelers to shift to rail from modes of transportation that generate more pollution. This proposal would also deliver faster trains that will reduce the average travel time along the corridor. For example, the trip between Montreal and La Ville de Quebec could be reduced by as much as 30 minutes, and the trip between Toronto and La Ville de Quebec could be reduced by up to 90 minutes. It will also provide more reliable and more frequent service, more direct routes, and improved connectivity with other modes of transportation. This high-frequency rail project would be one of the largest infrastructure projects in Canada in decades and will transform travel in this busy transportation corridor. This summer, Via Rail and the Canada Infrastructure Bank's High Frequency Rail Joint Project Office will engage with Indigenous groups and other communities to consult and get feedback. This will help prepare for an impact assessment. The Joint Project Office will also continue to work with partner railways to negotiate increased access in and out of city centres. And the Canada Infrastructure Bank will engage with the private sector. This will help determine the best possible delivery model and capacity requirements. And as we learn from our outreach efforts to communities and the private sector, our government plans to land delivery model prior to the request for proposal an RFP launch in the fall of this year. We did indeed look at the option of high speed rail and having studied the, the, uh, and compared the two options of high frequency and high speed, we concluded that high frequency offers the best options for Canadians and for Quebecers and let me say why. First, the high speed rail would cost significantly more and would take a lot more time to build. And then when you look at the time gain given the short distances, relatively speaking, by the time the trains catch up to high speed and then slow down to stop, we discovered that the increase, incremental increase in speed is not really uh, going to offer the most efficiency when you look at the cost and the time span. So high frequency is the best option for travelers um, because it will offer reliability, will still go up as high as 200 kilometers an hour and, uh, and uh, will offer the frequency that Quebecers and Canadians need. So the, the budget, the final budget will vary depending on what the end final product is going to look like and that's why right now we are starting engagement with the private sector, with local communities about the final scope and what it's going to look like. But it could range from $6 billion to 10 to $12 billion depending on the final scope. And we're targeting for completing this project by 2030.